Hi everybody, Miss Melinda here, your spiritual worker from MissMelindasMetaphysicalServices.com. I'd like to take a moment today to make a quick, quick video and speak to you about positive thinking what it is and what it is not. I'm seeing a lot of controversy in the spiritual and metaphysical world. I'm seeing a lot of people talking about how everything is not love, light, and rainbows. You can't just be a light worker, etc. I totally agree. That's completely true. We need balance in the world. We need light and dark in order to make the world. Uh, we need life and death in order to be alive. We have to embrace all of these kinds of energies with in ourselves and within the world around us and understand that light would be nothing if there weren't darkness. Light would not exist. They're two opposites. I don't live in a world of opposites. I don't live in those kinds of polarized dichotomies. I prefer balance, but you do have to take into consideration both sides in order to be balanced. Something that I would like to address is that when I am talking about thinking positive, when I'm talking about living positive, when I'm talking about retraining retraining your mind to be more positive and to do that inner work and work on your problems, I am not talking about ignoring negative or painful or hard or challenging feelings within yourself. Not at all. If you're going through a challenging or painful time, you have to process those emotions. You have to process those emotions in order to move forward. If you don't, you will create blockages within yourself. You will create obstacles in your own mind, in your own heart, in your own energy, and therefore in your life. So. I am never trying to say just be positive, just meditate, and your problems will go away. No, your problems have to be faced. They have to be faced head on and they have to be faced as challenges, challenges that are going to, you are going to overcome and that are therefore going to make you stronger. However, while you are working on those challenges, one way to do that is also to reprogram your mind. Um, Focusing too much on your problems is not going to help you solve them um, unless you're being very proactive, you're being very logical, and you're actually coming up with a step-by-step -step plan and you know, following those steps. All the same, you can't sit and think about your pain, think about your challenge um, every moment of your life. Like I said, if you're in deep pain, you've lost someone, you've lost a relationship, you're facing illness, you know, um, things of that nature, of course you're in pain every day. And of course you need time to process that pain. But I'm talking about if you have everyday challenges, and we all do, the challenges and obstacles that are we're facing in our life, you can't dwell on that all the time because whatever you're thinking about, you are creating more of in your life. Whatever you put attention on, whatever you put focus on, that is the thing that is going to grow. Um, the energy, the feelings and thoughts that you put out into the universe, those are the things that are going to come back to you, that are going to be mirrored back to you. So if you don't want to face uh, challenges, obstacles and problems anymore, then spend some time actively visualizing your life being different. Visualize the things that you do want. Even if you are having an extremely difficult time, you're very depressed, you're sad, even if you can only um, only um, uh, manage to do this for like one or five minutes a day, take the time out to do it. It'll do your brain good. I guarantee it. Okay, so thanks so much, guys. Thanks for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions for future videos. I'm always open to suggestions. Stay blessed and thanks for watching.